Okay, Wolfpack, happy Tuesday. Back at it with our lower body work. I know last week I said um, it was probably going to be, I think I said probably, it was going to be our last week of these progressions. And when I was writing the programming, I just thought, you know, let's go one more week. Um, push some heavier front squats with this tempo and then give ourselves a chance to to work some uh, AMRAP back squats. I'm sorry, my microphone is being all funky. Anyways, um, again, three to four sets, just like last week, we've dropped a rep. Um, the goal would be to add weight. Uh, for the same tempo on these front squats, it's only two reps. So again, just like last week, we went to the four rep to the three rep. Sometimes it allows you to add a little bit more weight than normal since kind of that three to four rep range is pretty tough. Same thing here, this two to three rep range. Um, <clears throat> can, you can usually make a pretty big weight change. Um, so I would say if, if last week's felt pretty good, positions were good, right? We were coming out of the bottom with our chest uh, high, elbows high. Safe to add a good amount of weight here since you only got to really uh, pony up for two good, uh, solid, perfect reps here. Okay, so same as the previous weeks, get your two front squats, uh, put it in the rack, go right to the back and do as many back squats as, as you can. Uh, personally for myself, since again, we dropped that extra front squat rep, even though it was heavier, uh, for the three reps, I actually felt better on the back squat since the extra fourth rep on the front squat didn't really fatigue me a ton. So I actually did the same amount of back squats um, last week with the three rep front squat as I did with the four rep even though it was heavier. So maybe you guys have the same uh, feeling and, and again tomorrow might be the same on these back squats. I know we're getting heavier, however you're only doing two reps so you're not super frying uh, the endurance portion of your muscles. It's just kind of more like overall strength and nervous system. Um, so you may be able to crank out five to seven reps here on these back squats, but again, good tempo, right? Obviously perfect form. Uh, we do the front squats first to try to carry over the, the squat posture into the back squat. So more upright torso, full, de full depth um, coming out of the bottom uh, really, really strong. Okay, so once you have to stop and really uh, take more than probably two or three seconds between these reps. It's usually when you want to call, uh, cut the AMRAP set because we're not looking to stand there for an hour just to get a couple of extra reps. We want to get our work in fast, force our body to adapt, endurance a little bit more, and then rest a couple of minutes and repeat. Okay, and I think you guys probably can knock out four sets on this since it's only um, two reps on the front squat and it's going to be probably overall less, excuse me, volume uh, than the week before. Okay, and most likely this is the final week of this. I don't think I'm going to progress this to one front squat. I don't really see the benefit in that. But two, um, I think it's still it's still very beneficial. Okay, um, the Metcon is a Wadapalooza qualifier inspired workout. I wanted to get some pull up volume in, um, and I did a workout myself this weekend that ended uh, the Saturday classes uh, did it as well. Actually, it's pretty similar, but uh, doing some work and then. You know, a very uh, midline pull intensive workout and then doing the lunges, they were actually a lot more challenging uh, than I expected from like a midline perspective, right? Legs were tired, but every step felt like my midline was going to rip. So I wanted you guys to have the same uh, opportunity to feel uh, an awesome little stimulus. It's totally different than what you would think uh, for this workout. So this is a 15 minute cap. You do your five rounds of rowing and pull ups. And then once you've completed that, we move on to the pharma, farmer carry uh, lunges. So 15 calories for the guys, 12 calories for the ladies. This needs to be a row uh, calorie count that we can do in a minute or less. Primarily using our legs, not leaning back and torching our midline, um, and also not pulling as hard as we possibly can uh, to pull, uh, to roast our pull for our pull-ups. Right. So this should be something that you can do aggressively, but 80% effort still getting it done in a minute or less okay i feel like we've done this calorie count a bunch so you should have an idea what takes you about a minute or less in workouts um so make sure we choose an appropriate calorie count and then the pull-ups that we choose for the day ideally we're getting these done uh in i'd say three to four sets maximum that way we can uh maintain good uh round speed kind of a decent balance in the workout <clears throat> um and that we can move on and finish the lunges. So this takes you a minute, right? If you break this up into three to four sets, probably gonna be about 30 seconds. So you're getting like a half half work rest ratio, um, which I think is pretty perfect for this workout. So you're gonna be spending a little bit more time on the row. So definitely make sure that you breathe on your row and again, utilize as much leg drive as you can. Try not to lean back. I know sometimes when we do big leg pull, big lean back, feels good but you're gonna to torch your midline and you actually need your midline a lot for gymnastics, right? Your hollow arch position. So just make sure we're not leaning back too much. Um, so if this takes you a minute, right? Even call it 30 seconds, right? Uh, what times five rounds, 90 seconds, three minutes, four and a half, what, six, seven and a half minutes, something like that, seven, eight minutes, right? It still gives you half of the cap 
um, to finish the lunges, and these actually are pretty tough. So um, finish this, and then the 200 uh, farmer carry lunge is down and back four times. 25, 50, so yes. Um, arc is just going to be one dumbbell farmer carry lunge, right? So just have it in one arm, right? You can switch arms at 25. It's probably your best bet, right? 25 lunge down. If you need to drop it really quick, that's fine. Pick it right back up and go back. Arx Plus is going to be two kettlebells um, for this farmer carry lunge. But uh, choose an appropriate lunge weight where you can most likely go at least 50 feet without taking a extended rest period, right? If you lunge down 25, if you want to drop it really quick to switch arms, you should be coming right back. And then if you need to take a rest, you should be taking your extended rest after at least 50 feet. Because that will probably put you at about you know, 45 seconds or so, maybe a minute on these lunges. And if you're going down and back for a minute per, right, four minutes, say say this takes you eight minutes, right, and you're getting that done about 12. So cap's pretty, uh, pretty uh, long, makes this pretty doable. But I wanted you guys to make sure that we had uh, ample time to finish this because it get pretty challenging in the later rounds. And then... Work through some fun lunges. So it's going to be a fantastic Tuesday. If you guys have questions, let me know. If not, see you in the gym. Have a great workout. Bye.